So I'm here with Bray Pettis, uh, founder and CEO of MakerBot, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he makes. Okay, so what we've got here is the MakerBot Replicator. And this is a machine that you make things with. You get it, it comes in a box, you take it out, and you just start making stuff. The, uh, it's so much fun. And it's like, it's, you know, it's something from a science fiction, like, future that we get to have now. So what kind of things can you make with this? So this is actually, we've got a little model here of a little, of a TV. This is made by a woman uh, whose username on Thingiverse is Pretty Small Things, and she's a scenic designer. She actually has shows on, on 42nd Street that are like, have all of her set designs in them, and she, she, she mocks them up on her MakerBot. Um, what else do we have here? We've got, uh, you can make mechanical things. So this is a heart made out of gears. So this is a great gift for your sweetie. You know, you can break her heart, and then if you keep turning, you get to put it back together again. Very romantic. Balance is, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, you can be really creative. We've got, this is a dragon. So this is a teacup dragon. And, hello, I'm a little dragon. How are you? Can that also, can, can that also like crack nuts? Like chestnuts or hey, something? You could try and crack some nuts in, the, in, the, in that mouth, sure. Um, so what? <laughs> You know, how, how does this work? Uh, you know, how are you making these different things and what are they made out of? So the way this works is you take a design and you can either design something yourself in a design program like SketchUp or Tinkercad or any of the free programs or you can spend a bunch of money in, in like professional CAD programs as well. And, or you can go to our site Thingiverse where people share their designs where you can just download stuff. So like all these models you don't need to design them. You can just download them and then make them on your MakerBot. When you have the model, you open up the software, our, our software, and um, you press, you know, make, and it the the machine leaps into action and it takes plastic, which is on the back here, and pulls it through these tubes and it draws with it and it draws like a, it draws a picture in molten plastic and then lifts up a a small fraction of a millimeter, draws again, and layer by layer creates the object. Right. And then you've got your thing, and it's done, hot off the bot, you're ready to use it. Cool. Can you talk a little bit about maybe some of the tweaks that your customers are doing to the machines? Is there anything cool that people are kind of hacking together, you know, and, and transforming, um, you know, the, the capabilities of the machine, using different ingredients, that kind of thing? Sure. So one of the things about MakerBot is we're an open source hardware company. And this is very similar to like open source software. This means that when we launch our product, we share all the design files uh, from the laser cut designs all the way down to the software. So if you want to modify it, you can modify it. And this means you can do everything like really playful things like make robotic arms that are on the front to doing things that like when it's done, you could have something move in and smoosh it off the pl sweep it off the platform and make another one. It's uh, because we're open. It's a platform for experimentation. Um, I'm really, I. It makes me really happy that people use their maker bots and just push the edge of what's possible.